everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In this video, I'm going to react to Taylor Swift, I Can See You from the Vault Collection of Speak Now, Taylor's version. I think this is the third track that I've listened to and there are six total, so after this, we'll be halfway through the Vault tracks. Uh, if you're new around here, like the video. If you've been here a while, like the video. Uh, and uh, join me in the conversation in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new as well. Uh, if you want to see my uncut and unedited reactions ad-free, you can head on over to patreon.com slash for just five bucks. Got hundreds of reactions over there uh, without any of the edits. So uh, let's continue the vault journey here. Interesting. This is... Yeah, this is a very, uh, I guess, eclectic. I don't know what kind of adjectives to even use anymore when I talk about music, but it's, uh, you know, it's it's retro. It's like 60s and 70s. There's like a bell <laughs> going on, uh, almost like a tambourine. Um, there's effects on her voice and effects on the guitar, this kind of echoey, dreamy um, effect to it that makes it sound different than a normal uh, Taylor Swift song, so that's all really fun. Um, the chorus is the same chords as the man uh which was fun to hear um but yeah we'll, so we'll we'll try to play this one on guitar when the song is done so yeah i really liked um yeah just the attitude and the melody with this one it's a little bit different <laughs> yeah this one's fun um i can't help but when she says uh dun, 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 dun. I th when she says I, 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 it reminds me of the opening of mine. Am I the only one that happens to? Like, when she says I, I, I here, in my brain, I go, uh, I, and, and I go into mine. Um, yeah, I also really like this, um, this perspective of, like, <laughs> it's almost like a dangerous sounding song. It's like, I like somebody. And I'm gonna tell him, ooh, <laughs> you know, like it's like as this like dangerous edge. Maybe it's the visuals, the dark purple, and uh, um, I think it's also her attitude and the way that she's singing. It sounds like she's like, you know, she's singing a secret that she could get in trouble for, you know. <laughs> that was a really good song. I I can tell you like. I mean, when you hear that there's going to be vault tracks or unreleased tracks, there's always like a hesitation, right? It's like they weren't included for a reason, right? Like the artist said, no, never mind, I'm good. We're not going to bother with releasing these. It's like a director's cut uh, or, a, you know, alternate takes or deleted scenes. It's like the scenes were deleted for a reason because the, the movie is better without them. And so you get the impression that if these songs were, you know, unreleased or, or uh, un, they were not, they did not complete the production on them, that the idea is that the album is better for not having them. Where, in my opinion, and I haven't listened to Speak Now in a really long time, probably around the first couple of months after I did that initial reaction, although I have listened to a couple of my favorites from Speak Now, I just mean the whole album. Uh, I feel like my gut reaction is telling me that I would have probably, all three of these vault tracks, I think I could have made an argument that they should have been on the album. And um, the, the last two could have been singles, like in my opinion, you know, like, so I'm really curious as to what, uh, I'm, I will be very happy to find out after I have preserved the reaction experience for people to tell me more of the stories of, you know, how these came about. So let's play some of this song. It's gonna take you a minute to figure out, but yeah, so I mean. I don't think that's where it is. I'm just trying to guess based off memory from hearing it here for the first time. But the man is the same chord progression as that. It just starts lower. songs i think the man is an all-time song it's brilliant lyrics melody and verse bridge and chorus that get stuck in your head forever 
and I'm so happy that that was my first Taylor Swift reaction. Because it's, oh my god, it's so good. I don't remember the melody. Please, please uh, excuse my uh, detour, because this song uses the man chord, so. figure this one out. That's the breakdown. So that's pretty much it, so. Hearing little hammer-ons, little additional stuff, I feel like there's guitars layered there. I think the higher pitch thing is doing that. Screwing it up.
sharp minor. Uh, really fun song. I'll get out of here. This one ran a little long because we went on a little detour to talk about the man, which I hope you can forgive me for. I like this one a lot. If you like this video, like it, comment, let me know some of your thoughts on my thoughts and what else you want to see me react to. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.